Welcome back to Homeworld. We're just getting ready to hyperspace out to the Chaos Graveyard, but first I need to decommission these two destroyers because I have two too many capital ships for what I plan on doing there. Now we're ready. Let's go. That is. I am Group Captain Nelson of the Destroyer Capella. The Tidan Empire has become decadent and corrupt over the centuries. Forbidden atmosphere deprivation device in your planet finally triggered the rebellion. Help me get access to the rebellion's communication network. I will show you a way through the defenses surrounding your homeworld. Take me to the ship graveyard at Keros. Hidden in a derelict, there is a relay I can use with your help. The rebellion waits for my sign to move into its next phase. Hyperspace transition complete. We have arrived at Karos. Group three, on route. Okay, so I'm just gathering. <laughs> I'm we gathering my fleet. Reports it is now equipped for heavy guns technology. We advise commencing research immediately. Group six report. This is what we wanted: heavy guns. We research that we get heavy cruisers actually our own heavy cruisers that we build ourselves and they look amazing they actually look quite a lot nicer than the tight end ones problem is you never get to build any because as you can see i've already got three that i've captured and you can only have three so what are you gonna do well if you lose any you can build more standing by all right so the way this works is this mission is called the Karos graveyard and you're supposed to dock a fighter or corvette in the communications relay on the other side of the map the problem is that the entire map is littered with these auto guns they're not very tough but they fire at you constantly from little bits of damage from all different directions it's more than enough to make sure strike craft don't make it to the other side. So you think, well, okay, let's take some heavy capital ships and just clear the path, right? Well, there's a slight hiccup with that plan, that which I'm going to show you. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to select one of my heavy Roger. cruisers. Actually, I'm going to select all of my heavy cruisers. Roger. And I'm going to bring them out front. Research and I'm going to reports it is now equipped for cloak generator technology. We advise commencing research immediately. I'm not terribly interested in cloak generator technology. It's very cool in principle, but in practice, it doesn't. I, I, don't, I don't really see the need for it in this game. Um, it's more gimmicky than anything. I don't know where it would be practically helpful in the remaining missions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign group these designated. to group nine. So nine, group nine is the heavy cruisers and group seven, group seven copies. is group all seven the destroyers. Designated. So these are the destroyers. I've got nine Research and complete. new capital ships available for construction. And there we have it. We have the research is done. We might as well research. It doesn't hurt. You never know. I might need it. Um, but what we want is we want to be able to build heavy cruisers, but we can't. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a heavy cruiser. Roger. 
And we're just going to start working our way towards the uh, New heading. the destination here. And we're going to put him on fire at will. Weapon set to full power. Uh, pretty soon he's going to start spotting some enemy stuff like this guy right here. I don't know if he's going to fire on that one. He should. He should fire on it. I think it's in range. Isn't it in range? These things got a pretty long range. Group 9 under attack. Oh yeah. Okay, group 9 under attack. So we got some auto guns firing. He's not shooting back though. Yeah, let's let's just fire at everything attack that's an actual target. Research complete. Oh, okay. Okay. So this down here, this is a hyperspace gate. And these allow enemy ships to warp from point to point in the map um, using hyperspace. It's um, it's best in this in this in the plan that I've got. It's best to leave them alone. Just let them be. Hyperspace um, here we go. signatures have been found at these locations. Here we Don't go. Detect no new ships. So. What he sh what he showed, unfortunately, it's not on the screen anymore, but there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there were eight. I think there were eight altogether hyperspace gates. And so there is, you know, there's something that can move. You notice that everything here is owned by something called Keras Automata, which is basically, you know, automatic... Yeah, AI controlled something or other. Over here we have a very curious ship called the Junkyard Dog. Now, the Junkyard Dog is really interesting. <laughs> it's probably the most annoying enemy ship in the entire game. At least it used to be. See, when the game first came out 25 years ago, the junkyard dog would come and just walk off with your ships, your capital ships. <laughs> you can just grab them. You can just grab them with these ginormous claws at the front here. Grabs your ship, runs off with it. There's not a damn thing you can do to stop him. And there you go. You know, you lose your ship. You um, then he comes back and grabs another one and another one and another one and pretty soon you're you're finding out that that he's actually turning your fleet into um, a scrap pile. Um, I think I think originally they became hostile. I don't know. You don't you can't really quote me on that. I don't know for sure. It's been a long time, but uh, that's not the case anymore. He still attacks your ships by um, coming to get them. And, but there's a difference. There's a difference. First of all, notice the square. Notice the square. It's not a, a typical capital ship icon like uh, like this or like these. It's a square. What else has squares? Well, the only other thing that has squares, I don't actually have any, do I? Oh, these are squares. Yeah. Notice these are squares. Why? Because they're Corvettes. This, believe it or not, is a Corvette. Which means it's susceptible to gravity wells. <laughs> it's crazy, but it's true. Um, it's just part of the game. And now, so you can slow it down. You can slow it down. But here's the really important factor. In the original game, this thing was invulnerable. You could not kill it. You could throw infinite amount of firepower at this thing and it would not die it just relentlessly grabs your ships runs off with them deposits them they are no longer yours you can't control them and so what you're forced to do is you're basically forced to find another solution that doesn't involve your capital ships and yet the whole place is littered with auto guns and you have to get a fighter over here how do you do it well there's other ways you have to get creative but you now, because of the change that Homeworld Remastered has made, it gives us a particularly interesting opportunity. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate now. 
Because it's no longer invincible. It has... Hang on. There it is. It has 110,600 hit points. So it's about... Standing by. It's a little less than half the hit points of a heavy cruiser. Which is still a lot, mind you. It's still a lot. But it can be killed. And there's only one. Once you kill it, they don't respawn. There's only one. So watch what happens here. He's going to run up to the ship. He's going to open his big old jaws. He's going to grab your ship and run off with it. Attention. We have lost contact with one of our capital ships. Its last recorded position is here. Yep. Yep. Only... Another interesting thing is that it still the shows up on the map. Defended by auto guns. They will complicate our attempt to reach the communications array. So what he's doing is, is you can still see the ship. Even though I have no control over it, I can still see it. Now, I don't know if that's the case in the original. Now it's gone. You see how it's gone? That's because there's a hyperspace gate here. So he's hyperspaced away with the ship. Now we don't know where it is. Oh, but look. He just went through a hyperspace gate and he just showed up here. Still carrying the ship. You can't see the junkyard dog because he's, it's that's not your ship. But this is still your ship. You still own it, even though you can't control it. You, you, they even say acknowledged, which that's is funny. Fine. It's like, you'd think he'd be a bit more stressed out at the moment. But no, he's standing by. He's just ready to do stuff, right? Except he won't do anything because he's captured. What the Junkyard Dog is, is it's essentially an incredibly strong salvage Corvette. <laughs> it is a salvage Corvette. It's literally a salvage Corvette. Oh, look, look. Now it just changed the paint job. We've located one of the missing ships. It appears that it can be salvaged and reactivated. It moved it back to Titan for some reason. He repainted it. So we have to take a note of where it is. So between me and the destination, and there's a circle in the center, is just to the left of that circle. Now, as it turns out, the, the junkyard dog is not interested in your ships unless they attack his stuff. So we're going to have this one start blowing up stuff next. Oh, also, guess what? I can build a heavy cruiser. Construction underway. <laughs> 4,500 units. It's called 4,500 resource units to build a heavy cruiser, which is worth it. It's really worth it. But yeah, I've got to... Um, there's one. Run initiated. So I'm just going to tell this heavy cruiser to attack this auto gun over here. Because if he attacks the auto gun, that is. then the junkyard dog will come for him. All right. Pretty soon I should see the junkyard dog show up. Standing by. Oh, also it's a good idea to build more proximity sensors. They help you get a, a feel underway. for things. Construction underway. Assembly underway. Proximity sensor complete. Mothership. Proximity sensor complete. All right, Junkyard Dog is back. And he's getting ready to steal my second heavy cruiser, which he has now done. And to be sure, if you don't know what you're doing, this is incredibly stressful. It's just the most stressful thing because you can't do a damn thing about it. You, you've just lost one of your most valuable warships to this stupid ass junkyard dog you know <laughs> it's it's just incredibly stressful but if you do know what you're doing it's not a bit big deal at all it's not a worry it's all part of the plan heavy cruiser complete oh look a heavy cruiser is complete <laughs> ready copy 
There it goes. He's just hyperspaced away with my heavy cruiser, and now he's back. He must have appeared in the same spot he disappeared from. Roger. Now he's taking it over to the place to, to drop it off in the junkyard. And just like that, it no longer belongs to me. So I'm going Reporting. to take my next heavy cruiser. Destination locked in. And I'm gonna attack vector laid in. Attack some stuff. And I'm going to build another heavy cruiser. Assembly underway. You'll notice that my total number of capital ships is one less than the maximum, just like my total number of heavy cruisers is one less than the maximum. This is the reason I had to retire two of my destroyers, because if your number of capital ships is above the maximum, even if you don't have three heavy cruisers, you can't build any new heavy cruisers. So I had to keep that down. Acknowledged. There's the junkyard dog. Where is he going? Group 9 reports victory. Mm. He's acting a little Reporting. funny. Destination locked in. The script might have him using hyperspace gates rather than taking the direct approach. Oh wait. No, no, that's fine. Group 9 copies. Oh, there he is. He's coming for it. Oh, he's coming for it. He's like a shark coming out from the deep. Gonna grab me. Oh no! Ah, he's got me, he's got me! <laughs> oh yes, I forgot to show you what the new ones look like. This is the heavy cruiser that you can build. It is much nicer looking. Look at this thing. Look at that thing. Now that, that is a chunky boy right there. That is badass firepower. It, I mean, it's probably the same exact specs as the tight end one, but it looks a lot better, in my opinion. So these are the beam turrets on the front and on the front top and the front bottom. And it's just got, um, the like a wing almost on either side each with three very very heavy guns it's really cool nope, now he's just hyperspaced away and he's just returned from another hyperspace gate way the hell over there but it's a bizarre thing I don't know if it's a bug or what but you can still see where he is I find it very strange. I'm pretty sure in the original game, I'm pretty sure in the original game that wasn't part of it. Like, you had no idea where he was going to drop off your ship. And this is a big map, so it's really, really hard to search. Especially with the autoguns everywhere. Alright, so it has disappeared in that same vicinity. So it's somewhere along this side of the center circle. Uh, so he's stolen three of my heavy cruisers now. Standing by. And and I've got a second one here. Acknowledged. And I can build a third. I am building the third one, so I am building my third um, heavy cruiser. Green line confirmed. And now, I just want to make something really clear right now and that is the fact that I have 59,000 resources these cost 4,500 each right so that is like a dozen I could build a probably about a dozen more heavy cruisers if I really wanted to right now and the way you do it is you just keep letting the junkyard dog take the one that you've made take one of the ones that you made and then you keep building them. You keep building them, you keep sacrificing them, you keep building them, and you keep sacrificing them. Because you never have more than three at a time. Junkyard Dog keeps stealing them. So I'm not going to do that because that's <laughs> not necessary. It's only, I mean, three is just fine. Three is just fine. So given that fact, 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put um, I'm going to put Roger all of my destroyers and heavy cruisers back into group seven. I'm going to concentrate them here, probably in a wall formation, and then I'm going to grab my my uh, multi beam frigates. Multi beam frigates are uh, my glass cannons, as you know, and I'm going to I'm going to tell them to order, going to tell them to guard this heavy cruiser in a sphere formation. I'm actually going to send, you know, I'm going to make Group him seven. not part of seven. Group seven. I'm going to take two. my grav well generators and Blue tell them to guard it as guard well. Confirmed. Roger. If you use guard, they should form a sphere around it. Well, they're a bit close. I was hoping they'd be a bit further back. Well, it's okay. Whatever. It's not a huge deal. I think they changed the way it works since the original game. But we're just going to kind of move forward a bit in the map and just start wrecking some stuff. Understood. It's locked in. No, no, no. Not that. Hopefully this proximity sensor will trigger the junkyard dog. Group two report. All right. So this heavy cruiser... We just have him no start smashing some things. Uh, might want to send my... Do I have any more proximity sensors? Here, let's send this one out here. Oh, on. there it is. Group 9 reports enemy contact. Yep, there he is. Alright, so we got the junkyard dog. He's back. He's, he's hungry again. He thinks he wants to... Um, Take advantage of my poor defenseless heavy cruiser. Here it comes. So I'm going to order my uh, multi-beam frigates to attack the junkyard dog and also my destroyers and other heavy cruisers. And what the heck, we'll have the target or the bait also attack. But the key... Copy. This is very, very important. Is that I'm going to activate one of these grav wells. Just one. Course check. Oh, look. Oh, what's the matter? Can't you move? Aw, poor doggy. Oh, look. He's taking damage. Aw. Most of these guys aren't even firing. Come on, fire. Now, I'm going to I'm going to deactivate this one and I'm going to activate the second one because there's a chance that I won't burn this out. So, and and now I'm just going to retire this guy because he's used up. All right. Oh, look at that! Boom! Junkyard Dog is no more. All right, on to the, the last phase of the plan. Oh, that's interesting. What do we got here? Looks like a couple of heavy cruisers. I wonder how they got there. All right, so... What we've got to do Roger. is to stay away from them, group five reporting. Strike group coordinates locked in. except for we have a complication, which is complete. this area is surrounded by auto guns, and auto guns will take out your salvage corvettes. So it's a little bit of a tricky situation that you have to deal with using your other ships, but you don't want the heavy cruisers activating and attacking them. So it's a, it's a little hard. It's a little hard. Now you might get lucky. Standing by. You might get lucky and just walk off with them, which is what we're going to try first. Confirmed. Group, four, group five. Group five. We send seven each. 
So we can take one loss and it'll still work. There's an auto gun. So as soon as they latch we on, group on we tell group seven and group, group four, four for that matter, if they're Engage here, capital ship. we gotta attack these auto guns. Cause if we lose any of the Corvettes, we have to immediately latch on with a spare. This one's almost dead. Group oh, oh, got lucky. I think I got lucky. Ready for <laughs> yep. Group five yep. reports enemy contact. Group four reports victory. Group four under. Now, one thing we don't want to happen is we don't want that last heavy cruiser to latch on to group four and start chasing them, because it will. Especially if I start killing auto guns, they get kind of Brigade pissy about attack. that. Group seven standing by. Yeah, this one almost bought it, but I had two spares, so uh, chances were okay that it would work, but the auto guns are quick to kill these things, and you just have to be real careful. But it is entirely doable. Well, what do we got here? Looks like we have a heavy cruiser. So there is an auto gun here, which means I'm going to have to take that out. As soon as the auto gun starts firing, I can lock onto it and fire back. All right, time to bring in salvagers. Strike group moving into position. All right. It's showtime. Bring in the salvagers. There is an auto gun attacking. I'm targeting with my group four. Quite a lot of auto guns. All right. So at this point, uh, this salvage is in the bag. I'm just going to take these remaining five, or rather, eight. These salvagers can go back home to the mothership, and these can take their time getting back. And I'm just going to use the rest of this time to take groups seven and four on a merry journey of destruction. Also, or one thing I can really try is I could take my. Uh, do I have any strike craft? I do. I have defenders. Not particularly fast, but they'll do. I'm just going to charge them strike, strike right here. Locked in. Ready. Locked on target. Group 4 standing by. Moving to intercept. Standing by. Attack run initiated. Ready. Standing by. Group four. All right, let's All right so All this right. is called the junkyard office. This is our goal. This is where we're trying to get to with um, a strike craft of some kind. But it is surrounded by auto guns. And we're just going to take those out with our frigates. Group seven reports victory. Frigate under attack. Proximity. Because honestly, if you try to charge in here with strike craft, it's just going to get slaughtered. It'll be like racing in. It's like, I'm in. Then boom, it's just dead instantly. Attack vector laid in. And I think Moving that may be Combat all of them. Group four reports enemy contact. Group 10 standing. All right. So this is a the strangest ship to be docking over here. It's a defender. Not fast. Still Group weak. Reports victory. Decent guns, not going to help in this situation, but it doesn't matter because all that's required is that a strike craft dock. And here we go. You are clear to proceed. I'm in. Communication link established. Patching into command node now. 
the Tidan Resistance has been informed of your actions and are preparing the fleets. You have our thanks. How about that? The hyperspace coordinates you require have been transferred to your mothership. Farewell. Farewell. Hyperspace enabled. And with that, we have a grand total of six heavy cruisers instead of three. Um, sure, we could have just kept the three, but it's actually a bit more interesting with six because, again, the game scales. So the bigger the fleet you bring in, the more they hit you with. And so it's bigger battles, bigger boom booms, and, you know, more fun. So with that, this episode is done. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.